Hey guys, stuck your face here. Um, welcome to my um, calculator, my world, I guess, with a calculator runs in binary. Um, it's not completed yet, as I said, I'm making it. Um, it uh, currently all it only does addition, and it doesn't actually have a result display yet. And um, but it, it can, uh, it doesn't have a dis digital display. It's got a display sort of. Uh, it only goes up to ten currently. Um, Basically, uh, this display here is controlled with these two buttons on each side. Each time you press it, it adds one, and as the sign says, counts up to 15. Uh, so, press that, you know, goes to four. Um, what is it? These switches actually do nothing right now. Um, yeah, actually, none of these switches do anything right now, as <clears throat> I'm still working on the other functions and still working on making that uh, display part right there work. Um, so yeah, currently it's doing 4 plus 3, so if I didn't fail math, I do believe that is 7. Not quite sure, though. Anyway, <laughs> we'll see with the calculator. So, um, this first torch is 0, though, as I've got to, you know, take in that into account. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Yep, I was right. It was 7. Um, anyway, yeah, that's all it does so far. I could uh, make it continue, actually, um, but I can't really make a really uh, raw conversion out here of a uh, display, as that would be massive if I did multiplication. It'd go way outside of the chunk, which that's why the display has not been finished. Um, I guess I'll show you out here where it starts. Um, basically, every time you press a button, these uh, these two torches here, these turn off. And basically what it is is that um, this uh, piston right here, this, no, I'm sorry, no, this piston here, this one detracts, and uh, then as it's detracting, these lights turn back on, these two torches, and since this one has just detracted, it doesn't have enough time to push back out, but this one does, so it basically, essentially what happens is every time you press the button, this blue block moves back and forth, so... Uh, this block of redstone will power um, this right here. It'll not only turn this on, but it'll also, in a chain reaction, go along this line doing this. And basically, that just creates a binary output. Um, it actually, well, it counts to, as I decided to count out to 15. It actually counts to 16, but you got to take into account 0, which basically, right here, this is a, um, a binary, um, uh, what's it called? A converter, I guess, to uh, to decimal. So this is a uh, 15, I guess. Uh, I don't know storage parts for um, each each number. Um, basically, what happens is that uh, when uh, what is it? Once all of the stuff has been converted and whatnot, I won't get into go into great detail of how it does it. Um, basically, it, it turns the torch off of whichever you know, whichever number it needs to be, and, uh, which allows these torches to turn on, and all the other torches are off. And, uh, basically what that does is it runs through all these, uh, wires all the way to the digital display right here. And, uh, yeah, that's what you see out there, and same goes for this side. Um, after it's done that, it just runs through here, and this is, this is just the same it is as on the other side. Um, so, yeah, it's, uh, yeah, it's the same signal and basically what happens is that uh this takes a uh sample I guess from each one of these numbers so this one um what is it this one splits off to do two directions it goes here and it continues on for where the next function will be made and uh it also takes a sample from this one and goes to here basically how it works is there is a uh and or gate right here uh, linked together. So basically, um, down here, if the torch, uh, if the what is it? If this torch and this torch are, um, I believe, off, then this will turn on, which will uh, send a signal down here, cutting off this, uh, cutting off this output. So this output will do nothing, and if that and that are together, then, uh, what is it? If that and that 
are on, then this output's on, and you get uh, 2. So 1 plus 1, 2. And basically what it does that is it does that in sequence all the way up to here. So it adds these two ones together, these two twos, these fours, and eights. And then it goes on to uh, twos, fours, and eights. And then it goes on to just uh, fours and eights. And finally, on to just eights. And then once that's all been um, completed, I guess, uh, it runs the output through here and up to this uh, display or I guess back the bare bones of the display um, what you see over here is actually just a uh, prototype of me working on how on earth I'm gonna do a binary subtraction because honestly it's a lot more complicated especially with redstone because of just the way it works I don't know if if anyone figures out a way, throw it as a video response. I would love to see this. See anyone do this? Seth Glenn, come at me seriously. I would. I would love to see binary subtraction. Um, anyway, I guess that's about it. Uh, thanks for watching. If you like the video, th click that like button. And um, if you want to see more, want to see the rest of this project, if I can figure out how to continue it, uh, subscribe to see this and more videos. Thanks for watching.